Hey, what's up guys? The squad here. Today we're uh, at our local reservoir once again, targeting largemouth, pickerel, perch, whatever's biting, crappie. Rex just got his PB, uh, largemouth. Right first blood, Alan first got blood. There. Rex got his PB gas, dude. All right, let's de-hook him. <laughs> Hold him tight. Looks like he's been caught before. <laughs> this guy's really cold. He's really cold. I told you the water's probably pretty cold. You thought you thought he was a, it was a snack. <laughs> you really thought he was a snack. <laughs> was he? Were you? Did you sit your lure still? Yeah. See, and that's when he bit it, right? Try my technique. I was like, you sat it still. Still for five seconds. I was like, one, two, three, four, five. And then I sat it. Then I. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice, Rex. Careful there, buddy. Yay! Rex! I can't believe it! You always get the first catch. What do you think about that? Oh. Cold? First of all, super cold. Why should you put your hands on your pants and your fish fingers off? Yeah, it was awesome. Right on. It's, uh, it's mid-February. Supposed to be reaching a high of 50 today, 47 to 50, something like that. There's no wind, the water's calm, still looks like chocolate milk, but uh, they're biting. Rex uh, got us dialed in already. Yeah, sun just came out, so things are looking up. I got tied on a, a black swim jig with no guard. Uh, we're going subtle and dark colors because of the murky water. I don't know what you, what are you guys doing. I got this little swim bait. Little swim baits. What did Rex yeah, stick I have his vest on? Bait. A little soft plastic minnow. Hopefully we uh, get into the bass. Stay tuned. You. So I tied on a blade bait instead of my little plastic swim bait I had them on. And now I'm just trying different areas, different actions, letting it fall and then pulling it along or pulling it a little quicker, snapping it, throwing it along the bank, throwing it out into the deep. But I haven't had any bites yet on it. So hopefully that changes soon. I'm out here throwing this uh, black and blue unguarded jig by Venom Lures with the hazard on on it. There's something subtle, something black because the water is so murky. Hopefully they can see it. I'm thinking about taking that there swim bait off and just throwing the jig alone for a bit. But uh, I've been trying different cadences. Moderate, super slow, dragging it on the bottom. Nothing yet, but Rex caught a fish, so they're biting. my light set up throwing a three inch wild eye minnow right now and I'm actually not focusing too deep with the wild eye minnow first leak because I can't get it out far with my setup um, but secondly I saw a bass in pretty shallow the other day when the sun had come out hope, hoping that they are in shallow trying to warm up their temps in the sun so I'm gonna pitch a a few not too too deep out. Yeah, little one. 
Oh yeah? Nice. Yep. He's so cold, guys. Suck a little one. I got a weedless rig on. Actually guys, I got the rig that Brittany went into the water in Florida to save for burnt. I was just watching some oh, of the unguarded yeah, yeah. videos. That was so funny. I like walking I was looking at pictures. Right? I'm like, oh, here, um, here. Look at your mom, dude. Look at your mom. That's what I said to her. Wait, OG angler mom. Yeah. Yep. Alligators rolling past here. Thanks. Come Thanks on, Alligator. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Probably was a little two-foot alligators. There's a little four-footer in there I've seen. All right, guys. I lost my last wild-eye minnow. Want a snag? So now I have this <laughs> only other swim bait I have in my tackle box right now. This is like bluegill swim bait. So I'm going to make a couple casts with that. We didn't get entirely skunked so far. Rex and I have caught actually Rex's PB bass, so that's really cool. I'm going to make a couple casts here. I'm hoping that sun has maybe warmed up this cement structure that you see over there. Maybe some bass are hanging around. Got a little large mouth on the deep diver. First fish of the day. Finally, mid-February, I'll take it. <sighs> His body temp was ice cold. He didn't have a stitch of fight in him. Felt like I was dragging in a little stick or something. Did you switch your lure out? Yeah, I'm on a, uh, a lipless crankbait, baby bass, lipless. Broke into the hard candies. <laughs> My out. this dark bait I have here. Jerk bait, guys. Want. Dang. Little bass on that jerk bait. I don't know. Get a good shot of them. Alright, let's set this little guy to the water for this pipe that's pushing water out. Second bass of the day, they've both been smaller bites, but I'm just happy to be able to connect. It's been about probably two, maybe three hours since I caught that last bass. At least it feels like it. Kind of lost track of time. Yes. So I'll tell you exactly how it's working this lure. This pond, I don't know if you can tell, but it's very shallow over here. So I would be casting the jerk bait out, letting it sit for a while, just barely pulling it down letting it float back up, barely pulling it down, let it float back up very slow. Um, I've been fishing a little bit faster in the larger ponds, but when I came over to this pond, I really slowed my retrieve down and um, was able to connect. Another reason why 
I came and chose to cast over here is because of this discharge of water that we have rushing in here. Um, any flow of water like that, especially it's got a possibility that it could be um, even warmer water flowing in. So a lot of bait fish are in that area, so you can almost bet that there's some bass and pickerel hanging around this area. All right, guys, this was just a quick spin session. It wasn't really planned. Rex uh, was true first blood. Ellie ended up getting a pickerel, I mean a bass, all the way in the back pond. And I ended up sticking a bass way out deep with a deep diving crankbait um, in the big pond. So it wasn't a buzz. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe. Um, check out our Instagrams. And uh, see you guys next time.